Hello friends, I am bringing to you a short video on Salam Basir Shasan. Please read the warning before we uh, show the video carefully and practice the standing poses, uh, the two videos, the links will pop up when you are seeing this video. Please follow the standing poses before you practice Sirshasan. This is my team, my daughter Malini and my son Tanuj. My wife is right now behind the scenes. Uh, these videos are not possible to make without the help of my team. So if you see them, you like them, please do share them with your fellow yoga enthusiasts so that we can make more for you and uh, we can spread this noble subject of yoga to everyone who is interested in learning and practicing. I thank you once again for your support. Enjoy the video and practice regularly. Let's begin learning Salamba Sirshasan at a wall. You need a folded mat. You need to learn to interlock your fingers completely. So as you can see, my fingers are steadily interlocked and you must have your palm wide. Do not shrink your palm too narrow because you have to fit your head in this cup shape of the palm. So as you can see, Malini is looking at the open broad palm, yet her fingers are interlocked. Her knuckles are touching the wall. She sees that her elbows are at the width of her shoulders and the upper arm is erect. Now she will fit the head in the palm securely, roll the palm into the head and fit the head into the palm to get a steady structure. Then she walks in and brings her knees close to the edge of the folded mat and checks with her own eyes the tip of her nose and her gaze. The gaze of the eyes has to be parallel to the floor. If the eyes are looking directly in front of you on your mat, then you have probably come too much to the front of your head. Okay. Now she will go on the toe mounds and lift her legs to straight like you do in Adho Mukha Shwanasana. So tight knees. You have to push the front thigh to the back thigh and you have to lift the thighs up, you have to lift the shoulders up and you have to see that your back doesn't start falling on the wall. You should not feel heavy in your head, neck, eyes or ears. You should feel lightness. This is a very important stage of learning lift and becoming comfortable here. If you feel heavy here, do not proceed. Practice this for at least 7 to 10 days and you will begin to feel the lift, the lightness automatically. Now she walks in a little bit more, lifts a little bit more in the thighs and one leg straight up. She has to lift like an arrow, point these tips of the toes towards the ceiling, lock the knee, tighten this leg and if you feel light in this bottom leg, you feel that the bottom leg is feeling light because this leg is lifting up, you are ready to swing one leg to the wall and the other leg, bottom leg will follow. So swing this top leg, that's it. Now rub your heels up the wall, rub yourself up the wall and feel yourself climbing and lifting. Spread your toes, do not shrink your toes, spread your toes. Front thigh has to push towards the back thigh, middle of your buttock has to come slightly forward, shoulders have to lift and face completely calm. To come down, keep one heel on the wall firm and slowly start descending one leg, keep descending, keep descending, keep descending, automatically the other leg will follow, keep going and slowly come down. So when you come down, you want to come down with control so that you don't slam your knees on the floor. That is it for today. If you practice this way, very soon you will be able to move away from the wall. Stay as long as you can feel the lift. You can feel the lift. If you start feeling heavy, that means you have begun to shrink 
and you have maxed out your capacity slowly slowly your capacity will build up okay enjoy take care